One of my absolute favorite parts of this whole long journey I've been on with cocktails that is, that's led me here to make these videos is the people I've met along the way, the friends I've made, the people who have helped me out and taught me things. And even though this video isn't about that, I will be mentioning a number of my friends in this video because it makes sense and you'll see why. If you're at all interested in cocktails and making drinks at home and experimenting, then one thing you should really get to know is tea. Tea is a fantastic shortcut to making fantastic drinks. And there are a few different ways you can use tea in your cocktails. And I'm gonna talk about three of them. Now my friend uh, Robin, who is a cocktail, uh, he, is, he is not a cocktail, he is a bartender in Toronto. He's probably taught me, he's the single person who's maybe taught me the most about making drinks. He once called using tea and cocktails a kind of cheating. And from his perspective, I get it. You know, if you're a professional bartender and you're entering competitions where you're making your own ingredients and infusions, then just taking a tea that someone else has put together and blended and then using that as an ingredient is kind of a is kind of cheating, or at least it's a shortcut, as I called it before. But I think that if you're a home bartender, that is that's great. Now I also have to mention my friend Wendy, who I've known for years, and recently she was feeling sick and she had a tea on hand that she used to make a hot toddy. And the tea that she had, she thought didn't fit with your typical rum or bourbon or whatever you might use in, in that kind of a drink, but she thought it would go great with gin. And, and she not only thought the drink turned out great, but she had also had an idea. And she made an introduction uh, between me and friends of hers who run a tea subscription service called Free Your Tea. And they're the ones who made the tea that she was using, and we'll get to that in a minute. And she connected me with them, and they sent me a bunch of teas. So while this isn't sponsored, uh, I did get all these teas for free, and I have been playing around with them uh, in, in different ways. And I wanted to share some of the things that I know about making cocktails with tea. Whether or not you want to make cocktails, uh, you know, you can check them out. I will leave a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so if you do sign up, I do get a little bit, I guess, from that. Uh, so know that, but that doesn't affect how much you pay for it. And also, if you use the code MATE, M-A-T-E-J, you will get a discount as well, 10% off your subscription. With that out of the way, let's talk about how you can use tea in your cocktails. So the first way is the way Wendy did it. Brew some tea, then you add some alcohol to it. And that could be hot tea or iced tea, and just thinking about what flavors go together. And the one that she used for her hot toddy was this marigold green blend. This is a, a green tea with marigold petals, safflowers, jasmine flowers, and also has lychee and mango flavors. Something like this that has a lot of herbs and floral notes, seems like a perfect match for gin. But because she had already done gin, I did something else with this. And I'll come back to that in a minute. But the second way to make, to use tea in your cocktails is to make a syrup. So you brew tea, generally you would brew it double strong, and then whatever amount you're left with, let's say, let's say a cup, then you would mix that with a cup of sugar, just like you're making a simple syrup. And then you've got this wonderfully flavored simple syrup. And I did that with this uh, vanilla orange black tea orange peel, vanilla bits, an orange and vanilla flavor. The first thing I did with this was make an old fashioned. So a little bit of the syrup with, with a bourbon. It was great, it worked really, really well. But the thing that really turned this into something special was uh, my friend Dave, who has a cocktail site called Home Bar Basics, which I'll also link in the description, lots of links. Not affiliated, just he's a friend of mine and, and somebody who's taught me a lot about drinks. He has a recipe for a brandy milk punch. And in his recipe, which it calls for brandy, you can also use bourbon, milk, and syrup. He calls for a vanilla syrup in his recipe. Vanilla and orange go great with brandy and with bourbon. That drink with this syrup is just fantastic. Absolutely loved it. So second way, make a syrup. It's a fantastic shortcut and it's a fantastic way to cheat. And then the third way is to actually infuse your alcohol with the tea flavor. And that, that brings us back to this marigold green blend. I've actually tried infusing this into a couple of things. The first thing I did was brandy and that was great. I did a, made a brandy crusto with it. The mistake I made was that I let this seep, uh, steep, steep in the brandy for too long. 
which did a couple of things. Mostly what it did was bring out some of those bitter tannins. I just wasn't thinking and let it, let it go too long. Really, if you're, if you're doing like a green, really anything, but especially like a green tea into a spirit, you really only need about 20 minutes, half an hour. And then the last tea that I used uh, this time was this rosemary lemongrass which is an herbal tea and it has lemongrass, uh, spearmint, rosemary, and marigold petals. First of all, I think mint is great in a lot of cocktails already, so anything that you use mint in would be great. But I took actually both of these, this marigold green blend and this rosemary lemongrass, and I tried infusing each one, not together, but each one separately into cachaça, which has a very, kind of funky um, vegetal sort of note and I thought both of those things would work well and they did. Uh, and I used them in different ways. The rosemary lemongrass cachaça I used, I found a, a drink that's a variation on a tea punch in the PDT cocktail book called a Brazilian tea punch. Their recipe uh, it calls for, I think it's a, uh, a green tea infused cachaça and then a lemongrass syrup. And because of the lemongrass in this, I, so I didn't use any green tea, I used the, this herbal lemongrass mint tea. Um, but then I just added a little bit of sugar and a little squeeze of lime and it was great. You know, the, the mint really kind of creates this kind of open sensation. Like it really just, it's not overwhelming, but it really adds a nice note. And then the marigold green blend infused cachaça I used to make like a Negroni variation. For that I used capo capo and vermouth and I did that I think two ounces of the cachaça, one of the capo capo and half of sweet vermouth. And again, it worked really, really well. So there are your three ways. You can brew a tea and combine it with a spirit of your choice. That's number one. Number two is you can make a syrup, brew double strong tea, mix it equal parts with sugar. Or number three, infuse the tea into a spirit of your choice. Those are great ways to cheat at home. If you're just thinking about how to take take your cocktails, you know, up, I don't know, a notch, a few notches. I don't know, I don't know what notch scale I'm using here. Uh, this is fantastic. So thank you very much to the people at Free Your Tea. You'll be seeing more um, tea related cocktails. You know, I, I, I kind of glossed over the drinks I made, but I'm, I'm, I will make some videos much more in depth about uh, specific drinks that I make with this and, and how to continue using teas. Um, check that link in the description to sign up or just you know check them out if you want, if you're interested. There is a, a discount code for 10% off, which is just my first name, M-A-T-E-J. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm, I'm su super thankful to everyone I mentioned in this video and so many more people. Maybe one day I'll just make a, a video of, of all the people I have to thank who have helped me out over the years. But you know, Robin, uh, Wendy, Dave, in this case, we're all in their own ways instrumental to getting this content to you. And I hope you like it. I hope you try using teas in your drinks at home. I'd love to hear about some of your experiments and how it went. And until next time, cheers.